all of you for the media. Uh, come to today and, and hear, uh, hear about uh, the arrest of Juan Thompson. We're here to thank law enforcement, especially the FBI, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the NYPD, the New York State Police, for their efforts around the arrest of Juan Thompson, who allegedly made multiple threats against JCCs in our ADL New York office. The diligence of law enforcement at such a critical time for the Jewish community is very reassuring. We heard early this morning from New York law enforcement before their arrest was even announced, in large part to our strong working relationship here in the Empire State. Later this morning, leadership from the Jewish community, including the ADL, met with FBI Director Comey and the senior leadership team of the FBI to discuss a range of threats that have been directed against Jewish institutions in the past two months. The conversation encompassed the current situation and potential strategies for future collaboration. All the organizations in attendance expressed deep gratitude of the entire community for the efforts that the FBI is applying to the ongoing investigation. The representatives of the Jewish community left with the highest confidence that the FBI is taking every possible measure to resolve the matter as quickly as possible. Over the course of history outside of America, law enforcement has been one of the first groups to turn on its Jewish communities. Today we stand here and say that law enforcement at all levels is a close friend of the Jewish people in America, and we are so appreciative. However, there are many more JCC bomb threats that have not been solved, and communities are hurting, and we hope all law enforcement will continue to be diligent. We are seeing Jewish family members standing in cemeteries that have had their loved ones' headstones knocked over and their plots desecrated. The vandalism of cemeteries in St. Louis and Philadelphia remain unsolved. Those investigations continue, and we hope arrests can be made. We are offering a $5,000 reward for an arrest in the cemetery vandalism that took place this week in Rochester. Just because there's been an arrest today around our bomb threat does not mean that the threats have disappeared or will stop. Hate towards the Jewish community and other minority groups is very real and deeply concerning. NYPD has seen a 115% increase in anti-Semitic hate crimes in the first six weeks of 2017 versus the two th first six weeks of 2016. There is a lot of work that still needs to be done. And the ADL offices, the 26 ADL offices around the country are in close contact with institutions that are being affected and the people that are hurting. And we are committed to support and train these communities on how to respond to these horrible threats. In closing, we need action to stop these threats. What will the federal government and the president do to address these anti-Semitic attacks? The ADL has proposed an action plan for anti-Semitism with basic steps that the president can take right now to fight anti-Semitism. Direct the Department of Justice to launch a fully resourced civil rights investigation into the threats to ensure that investigations have the funding, manpower, and support to bring those responsible for the attacks to justice. Convene a federal interagency task force chaired by the Attorney General to bring together relevant federal agencies who can develop policy steps that would mitigate anti-Semitic threats in all hate crimes. Direct the FBI to work with state and local law enforcement agencies to implement hate crimes training, reporting, and response. Also, to promote comprehensive participation in the Hate Crimes Statistics Act reporting program so we have a full picture of the problem. Also address the growing challenges of cyber hate by centralizing the reporting of abuse and encouraging Congress to review and improve new legal protections for victims of cyberbullying and doxing. There is no cure for anti-Semitism. It is the world's oldest hatred. History shows 
that when anti-Semitism gains upper hand, courageous leaders need to speak out and take action before it's too late. I would now like to introduce Oren Siegel, who's the director of the ADL Center on Extremism, who will talk in greater detail about Juan Thompson. Thank you. Hi, thank you for, for being here. 31-year-old um, Juan Thompson was arrested in St. Louis and is believed to be responsible for at least eight of the recent bomb threats made to Jewish institutions and the threat to ADL's national office here in New York. This suggests that there are additional perpetrators still at large responsible for the over 100 other threats targeting Jewish institutions just this year. Thompson made a number of threats against Jewish institutions using his ex-girlfriend's name, as well as other threats in his own name. Even as Thompson was allegedly calling in bomb threats, he was making pro-JCC statements on his social media accounts. ADL Center on Extremism first encountered Thompson while monitoring Charleston, South Carolina shooter uh, Dylan Roof when Thompson wrote a story with false information about Roof's motives. Thompson, a former journalist, worked for The Intercept from 2014 to 16 when he was fired for fabricating sources and quotes. He, quote, engaged in a pattern of deception, the publication said in a statement following his arrest. On social media, Thompson was re referring to himself as a socialist, tweeting, we don't want America like New York, we want it like Havana. He ranted uh, against the, quote, white New York liberal media that makes me, makes me vomit with their arrogant, patronizing bigotry. In 2010, Thompson wrote that most police officers are decent people. But by 2017, he was saying white cops are evil sociopaths and the worst people. For a time, Thompson used on Twitter the name Juan X and described himself as, quote, former Negro whisperer to the white racists. On Veterans Day 2016, Thompson commemorated uh, not US veterans, but the revolutionaries like Che Guevara and Asada Shakur. Thompson announced in 2016 he would run for mayor in St. Louis uh, to dismantle the quote, racial supremacy and greedy capitalism that is stacked against us. Thompson created a GoFundMe page where he raised, sought to raise $5,000 for his mayor, mayoral election uh, bid, and he received about $25. Thompson sent inflammatory messages via fax and email about his ex-girlfriend to her employer. And let me conclude by saying this. While the motive is unclear, the impact is crystal clear. While I cannot speak about what is in Thompson's mind, or certainly in his heart, threatening Jewish institutions is an anti-Semitic act. I join Evan and the entire ADL staff in, thought, in thanking law enforcement for their work on this case. <laughs> 